Hello, I'm Aaron Peskin, and I'm running for supervisor again to represent the good people of District 3 in this November's election. I believe that we need a pragmatic leader and an effective legislator with a proven track record, and most importantly, someone who will represent our people and acknowledge that we need more checks and balances at City Hall. I'm also running because I think we need an independent voice at City Hall, someone who listens and then speaks up for the issues, not basing decisions on who's for it or who's against it or what special interest has donated or what the mayor thinks. That has been sorely lacking at City Hall these days. And if you're looking for an example, you need, no look, you need look no further than 8 Washington, where the Board of Supervisors and the mayor rubber stamped a proposal to build high-rise $5 million luxury condominiums on our waterfront. They didn't listen to any of the community advocates. And what did we do? We went to the ballot. We collected 33,000 signatures in 29 days, the first time an initiative was successfully referended in over a generation. And it showed that City Hall was out of touch. A real housing plan for this city would regulate short-term rentals in a way that we didn't lose some 2,000 units of rent-controlled housing per year. A real housing plan for the city would protect existing tenants by enacting legislation to cut down on gotcha, low-fault evictions. A real housing plan for this city would bring the developers to the table to mandate that they build more affordable housing than the mere 12% they are mandated to build today. But affordable housing and waterfront development are not the only issues in this election. Since I left City Hall in 2009, the city's budget has increased by some 40% to almost $9 billion, and yet the city workforce is about the same size. So I ask, where did the other $3.5 billion go? The city is spending at least $25 million more per year on homeless services, yet we have over 1,000 additional homeless people in San Francisco. And our streets, despite the fact that the city's street cleaning budget has almost doubled to $46 million a year, are filthier than they've ever been before. And housing production has dropped, yes, believe it or not, dropped by 8% in, from 2001 to 2009 when I served on the board. We approved over 21,500 units of new housing. That's 2,694 units per year. Today, the Board of Supervisors is approving less. It adds up to one thing. No matter what you think about the direction San Francisco is heading, we can all agree that we, meet, we need more independence, more transparency, more oversight, and more accountability. I believe democracy is best served when the legislative branch holds the executive branch accountable and is willing to ask the tough questions. It is unacceptable that our city's budget has grown over 40 percent, and yet our streets are dirty and our quality of life has been diminished. Now, the, there are those who say, you can't go backwards, and I agree. It is my intention to move San Francisco forwards in a positive direction. I believe my experience and my record demonstrate before and while and since I have been in office, whether it is saving the San Francisco Flower Mart, a cherished institution, whether it was spearheading the drive to increase library hours, to pass a landmark law to, uh, to, preserve consumer, to protect consumer privacy, to approve the single largest housing project in modern San Francisco history, over 10,000 units, that I can and will work with everyone at City Hall to get things done. I've said repeatedly during my campaign that my candidacy is not about putting me back in City Hall. It's about putting all of us back in City Hall. I hope you will join a long list of endorsers, education advocates like the United Educators of San Francisco and the City College Faculty Union, parks and open space advocates like the Sierra Club and San Francisco Tomorrow, many District 3 neighborhood leaders and respected elected leaders, including our sitting state senator, a current assemblyman, our former city attorney, a former mayor, five members of the San Francisco Board of Supervisors, and most of the supervisors that I had the honor of serving with. Two times they elected me as board president unanimously. For more about my endorsements and my positions, please go to www.aaron2015.com. But the support that I would respect and honor the most is your support. I hope to get your vote in November. Thank you.